All right, I got in a groove last night. Uh, you know how we were having trouble moving this in the previous video? Well, I somehow managed to move all this stuff by myself. I took out the granite countertops, the sink, the uppers, the lowers, started to kind of patching up and getting the drywall ready. Um, I've already cut the baseboard off here. Uh, I need to cut it because it's going to be very specific. And I already cut some Swiss tracks and everything, so that brings you up to date um, that I should have gotten the camera out, but you know, I took the microwave out and all the parts and pieces to get it ready to go. The beauty is it's like a sixteenth of an inch perfect, like spot on. So all I'm really going to have to do is paint. I'm going to paint like, uh, you know, I have to paint, I have to touch this up here, this wall, that wall some a little bit of the lower here actually it's probably all going to be covered but i'm going to patch that up uh, and then this will all be covered as well so um, what i have to do is deal with the plumbing so i'm going to cut this out and then um, I'll just recess it in the wall cap it recess it in the wall i'm going to check my plumbing skills i'm thinking this goes to the fridge water outlet so i think i can just probably cap that as well um, yeah, we'll find out. So uh, we'll go turn the water off. But uh, I'll show you what I'm doing with the baseboards. I have one of these. So I got my little handy dandy thing here. I need to, I'm gonna get this all over my floor. I'd rather get it on my shoes than my floor. So if you haven't, just to bring you up to date, if you didn't watch the previous video of me unboxing the Sonic stuff, what I'm doing here is uh, I really want to have a pretty cool desk and videoing area. Plus, I want to be able to display the the MSS Plus, so we can you know put it in videos and you know see it and take photos and stuff of it. And when people come by, because we get a ton of visitors, I want to have the cabinets out. And so this is a way for me to experience it in a small section just to uh, be able to use it, touch it and feel it. So I've got a, whatever you call this little tool, this little cutoff tool that we use to cut the baseboards. Okay, so I can cut this and pull it off because the base of the corner cabinet is going to come out this far and so my idea here was to have the corner cabinet which I think this was Kyle's idea the corner cabinet will connect with my desk and it'll look like one big piece I just don't maybe I'll go I'm gonna go turn the water off now before I start cutting this I'm going to get the jigsaw out and cut the rest of this. The reason why it's circular, I was cutting it out of the back of the cabinet because I didn't, I didn't have it. I don't want to, I don't want to cap it out, sticking out. I need to be able to flush the cabinets up against the wall in order to maximize this. So here's all the stuff I tore out last night. It only took me a couple of hours to take it out relatively neatly. I've got one jigsaw blade. Every time I go to Home Depot, I think I keep telling myself, get a new one, get it, get a a pack and I don't I forget and last night I bent the crap out of it so I just need to get through this little bit of drywall here so it should be all right and after after I do this I'm gonna patch the patch the drywall so I'll patch any little holes let that dry and we'll sand that a little bit paint it paint the areas that need to be painted. While that's, while that's drying, I'll cut the Swiss tracks around where that needs to go. And we should be, we should be on it. I need to get a cap for the drain. Plumbing and me are not, not well acquainted. Who needs a drywall knife when you can use ridiculous power tools that don't really apply to this project? 
I had two of them at the house, but Ryan always grabs them to go play with them. Yeah, so all we'll do, I'll just cut this back into the wall. I'll just leave this open. What the heck is this putty crap? Is this a plumber thing? Baseboard. Uh, yeah, yeah, so yeah. cut the baseboard out. Even then, I'm probably still gonna have to take the corner off and slide it in. Because I gotta assemble this, because you gotta get behind it. Oh, yeah. So I gotta have it assembled and then push it back into place. But it's not as bad as I thought. I thought I was gonna have to repair all of this. It really doesn't matter. I mean, I could, but we'll save that for when we're moving out, <laughs> when we don't have any time. If we're moving out of here, that means I've got plenty of money, so right. I'll hire someone to, yeah. Not too bad, not too bad. I thought this was gonna take me, uh, I thought I was gonna have to call a plumber. You only have to call a plumber if you wanna do it right. If you wanna do it my way, you just jank it together. Worry about it some other day. Since when does a half inch pipe cap not fit on a half inch pipe? So these are half inch, that's half inch, and they don't fit. Yeah, shoot. These poles, oh man. Oh shoot, double shoot. They're even thicker than the other ones. No, that side. I'm gonna take this, don't even worry about that wall. That wall's gotta come out. That wall has to come out because this, you know, or what I could do, actually just to make it fit, is just not put any backsplash on that side. But dear Lord, how did I miscalculate so badly? Yeah, that's uh, like two inches. You could have left all that pipe there. Two inches. Probably need a sanding block. I'm gonna need to cut that all two inches further back. We won't have any backsplash on this thing. I mean, the other option is I freaking chop the wall out, but that's a much bigger project. I kind of like how it's gonna be. Obsessed. Yeah, tight fit right in there. Okay, so let's figure out how these cabinets go together. Because in order for us to put these in place, because they bolt from the back, they've got to go together. I guess we've got to go get Kyle to do our do some leveling for us. Because this ain't level. He needs to know how to do that anyway. Go get Kyle. Tell him we need him. It's good to be needed. All right, so our power cord goes through there. Yeah, how do these drawers come out? Yeah. They also set this one up so you can only open one at a time. That's a pain. Um, did they, or is it just still locked? Yeah, uh, it's oh. just still locked. There's no way in order to take the drawer out, you have to take it. I mean, these are like pressure fit on there. I don't know they're not. It's yeah, you're right. Pretty, yeah. Pretty simple. Yeah. Well, we don't need to take this drawer off. Oh, yeah, true. <laughs> I was just like testing this one, and then it's like, oh, I'm just going to keep going. Now, I also got to figure out how do we do the power strip. There's a hole in the back. Well, I know that, but I mean, how do I do the, uh, how do I mount it to the drawer? And I'm assuming this one gets, yeah, this one gets a power strip as well. That's what the second power strip is for. Okay, while Kyle's doing that, I'm gonna figure out how to do the back piece. You know what I completely um, didn't calculate was, you know, this is exactly correct, but I didn't. The wire pipes. Mm -hmm. So I'm fine here. I just have to make a shorter desk. But I, what I'm gonna do, well, I don't think I'll need anything because we're not connecting anything. No, you could just leave it bare. Yeah, and then I'll just do the countertop right up to the wall. Yeah. Oh my goodness. 
Yeah, and then what I'll probably do is have them make a backsplash on this side. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna unbox these other wire pipes. I've got stuff everywhere. Every square inch of this place has something in my way. This is the calm, or the storm before the calm. Storm of crap. So this piece won't be used, neither will, I don't know, these two will be used. I don't know, we'll see. I don't know what I'm talking about. These, these tall wire pipes are gonna go. So these pipes are different and then they have wire chases. Oh Lord, middle drawers, up, 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 right there. I'm gonna have to get some labels for you. <laughs> yeah, can we get a label maker? No. Good. So are uh, these wire pipes, so the way that these work, just like the MSS, is that the wire pipes, so there's keyholes. Oh, we screw in, so the hollow part of the wire pipe goes to the back. So we actually put these in here. That means we have to go through the cabinet. You do have to take the drawers out in order to put the wire pipes on because the wire pipes, because look, the wire pipes have the threaded part. So these must come through the cabinet because the wire pipe goes like this. with the hollow end facing back. These are our threaded posts for our uppers. For the and our, other it does matter. Label, yeah, label is upside down there, so I wonder if it goes the other way. It still doesn't solve our, how the heck do we connect it. Oh, so there's two, there's two keyholes. So there's only two? And then this one doesn't connect to anything? That seems weird. Versus three. Well, what about your upper wall cabinet? Ah, you stupid. How many? The wall cabinet has two, and they're spaced unevenly. So. No, can't be that way. We'll watch it. Well, maybe. No, because that's not going to stick up above, right? That, yeah, that lines up with that one. No, because now there's nothing here. Okay, see the, uh, the wire. The wire management? chase, yeah, lines so, up. So that one. So this backside goes so like you this. So you had it correct when you first held it up there. Over so the where's, our, where's our label? Is it on that side? Yeah, so the label is upside down. And then, so one, two, three, okay, yeah. So it is three that goes into the back of the cabinet, which means you gotta take the drawers out in order to put the wire Maybe pipes on. So we thread these in. Yep. So that goes like that. The other one fits in, and then we have to screw it in from the... Okay, these don't have the, that crazy arm. Yeah. You know, I, I could probably just lay in there and tighten the wire pipes on, you know? Because this one will be easy to get into. All right, well, let's get it level before I start getting crazy. And then this big wire pipe goes in the middle.
These water pipes are legit. These actually make sense to call them wire pipes because they actually have wire chases through them. Those aren't actually called wire pipes. <laughs> Those are just called posts. I see, so the bottom two are keyholed and the top one has to go through the inside. So on MSS, you just screw right through the back. I guess the concept here is you're only gonna put them together once. Kyle's gonna get an extra title. Chief leveling officer. I've got um, these off center. So the back is... Now it's a little wobbly. Of yeah, course. well, I've got this one too. Yeah. So ideally, what you would do, this will help you kind of visualize what's going on, but you would want to remove these upper uh, drawers. That way, you have access to these for the feet when you pull this bottom drawer out. Uh, this being pulled out like this is not what you want to do, but it does give you access, you know, to be able to see for now what what we're doing. But we're basically turning these to raise and lower. Okay, those are in, so you want to thread these in as far as you can get them. Oh, I did it again, you moron. Thread them in, just leaving a little gap. Oh, can't put these in yet. And posts, so you got a wire chase here, and a wire chase here. God dang, that's nice. They don't need any aligning or anything. They only go in one way, right? Yeah. It's kind of a pain in the butt because you have to spread the... Yeah. Beams. And then we put the little black thingies back in. So these are just a plastic rivet. What is this for? This must be to connect the laterally, left to right. Yep. So we could probably get away with... Now, obviously, you'll have to take the top drawer out in order to put the, the uh, countertop in, but let's see if we can get away with taking the two middles out. Also, if you look online, you see that the handles are black, but they're not black. They're actually that greenish color. So, like all the photos, or these are black. Right. Well, no, it's the whole thing is green. So for the U.S., we're getting this spec. Yeah. Black with silver handles. You can special order whatever color you want. It's just cost really a fortune. It'll take forever. Oh yeah, and now, so you could. Now you have access to that, you could. You can access the feet. So yeah. this, okay, so how would this go in? I see. So you go like that. So there's keyholes, sits in there. And then you push to the right. And now we run this through. So you gotta run that through. You gotta tighten these up. Man, that's a, that's a long reach. How do you plan on reaching in there? Is it the same five millimeter? You could just leave it mostly closed. I don't know, is it? Is it five? It's probably. Let me see. You wanna get in there? Oh, you're already down there. Yeah, it's six. All right, I wonder, um, let's get the top, just get the top one threaded in there. And then we should probably put the uh, cabinet and the other in place. Did you want to lock the middle, the, like lock up any of these? Or no, because we need room to be able to slide it in. Keep them kind of loose. Yeah. Okay, I see, this is pretty nifty. And so we got these little keyhole back pieces here. these into our posts and there's only two so you can see these Probably a little shadowy for you on camera, but 
Feed these. Lift up. Slide in place. Check that out. I like these solid. So they make a pegboard type, but not anytime soon. We don't expect to see those this year. So now, gosh, this looks so stout. <laughs> Can you fit in that uh, in that drawer? It holds 250 or uh, 500 pounds, I think. I think we're good. You can lay in there. Probably could. Be in. That's what we should do. Just bring it out, have them lay, sit in it, and I'll push it in. Now on this, all the bolts are the exact same size. On the, there's three different types of bolts for the, uh, the regular MSS. All right, this ought to be, this is good to tighten down. Yeah. Oh, oh, ready to tighten down? Yeah, okay. I don't think it's going anywhere. Yeah, so our, our depth measurement is not 27 or 25 and a half or 25 and 9 sixteenths. It's 27 and 9 sixteenths. Dude, I mean, this is like hold the earth stout. You're our small, birds, a small bolts expert. All right, so the upper goes in the same way as the other ones. Just the difference is, see, the other, the other uh, MSS line has the, uh, or at, least the or at least they do proper stickers that remove without any residue. Yeah, the MSS line, the, the backboards, the pegboard goes all the way up. This one, for when you have an upper cap, it stops. So it's keyholes, so this massive upper cabinet. Oh, yeah, you could, you could definitely climb and sit in there if you didn't have the shelves in. This is gonna take about eight people to lift this sucker up on there. This thing weighs like, this is probably 70 pounds, 60 pounds. So check out this guy. So this guy comes up here. And then the little keyholes. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna write on there. Don't overbook. Is it a bit ironic putting together uh, Sonic cabinets with Sonic tools? I think that's cool. That's how you made it. The level of awesome that HQ is gonna be after this side is done, it's gonna be. Be good. Yeah, I think I made a good choice by deciding not to put any kind of upper on the left side. So again, they don't make a cabinet that fits on the corner. I think there are plans to make a corner upper. How are we looking? Good. We in? We're in. All right, let's put this giant upper in. This is key. Let's see. So you got to get the uh, full quarter inch drawer. All right, let's hoist this bad boy up there. Yeah, it's so much deeper than the other one. The other one, I just walk up and put it on. This one is, this is massive. Yeah. I 
That's not so bad. Oh, are you in? Yeah. Okay. All right. And put the bottoms in. I wonder if that paper towel holder thing is standard. I don't know if I'd want it on every cabinet. Huh. Bring hot dogs? Uh, they, he was there, but I was like, this is probably not a wise choice. Yeah, depot dogs. You know, Why not? They're, virus, depot dogs. they're cooked to perfection. Uh, it's there was a guy getting there, getting one, and I was looking at it, and I was like, I got food back at work. What do we need that for? So you don't have to keep borrowing it. Oh. Put it in your cabinet over there. Now you have some super glue. He's been <laughs> stealing mics constantly. I don't plan on breaking any more stuff. What? Sanding blocks? Right here. Okay. To sand the uh, stuff. This will be the paper towel storage drawer. So we can change all our locks. So they all match. We won't need any connect connecting pieces because this won't connect anything. That's all we're going to be doing. Oh, we need to connect the box. Yeah, these two right here. What's this? Uh, let me just wrap it. Telephone. Look how big that is. It's like ice Yeah. I just don't know if I like, I think there's less room. But I guess it's deeper, so that's yeah, the methodology. Yeah, these are shallower. Yeah. So you do have you know, plenty of visual space. Yeah, I'm sure they sat there and calculated that for hours and hours. Had case studies and panels and... Here, how does this work? Is there like a special paper towel box for that? Can you pull paper towels now. No way to learn this stuff. All right, where's the other? Uh, so this guy. It's gonna go in here as well. So then, we could also do, probably gonna find some higher end solution, but we can put the lighting. So here's the sonic lighting strip. I'll probably just plug this in back behind here. Yeah. Can so we we'll go? Will it go down here like this? Yeah, it should work. This is pretty nifty. Pretty nifty. This is where my Canon EOS R5 is going to sit right here. Right they look a little better on this. Nope, still looks terrible. Yeah, it needs to be diffused for sure. Oh yeah, ah, that's what that thing's for, dude. Yep. Yeah, it's got this passive then. 
Interesting. You get this? So the reason this arm is here is not for locking. It's so that you can keep your power cord in a little channel. Yeah, that's pretty nifty. Pretty spiffy. Gosh, I love these cabinets so much. Everything just makes perfect sense. So the tabs are bent. Oh man, that's cool, dude. ripping the Corvette last night. And I'm like, man, I need to figure something out. You know, the, the our subframe is out of alignment or something. It's just so much slop. Like, it's freaking handling great, but there's so much slop. So what would cause the steering wheel to be kind of like turn halfway before it engages? So I'm like, I'm like steering. I'm like, well, let me put a new steering wheel on. Maybe it didn't tighten it down enough. There's like no movement on center like on it's center, like it's like on slop. center and then i have to turn this far for it to actually steer engage the steering and i'm just thinking man i'm gonna just the thing's just gonna stop steering and so Get the brakes feel fast the brakes are fine and so i pop the hood and on the way and they come coming here david loosened up that there's a you know there's a yeah, collar, the clamp, yeah. the collar on the so the nut was just sitting in there like a half a half a finger turn so I tightened it up and now it feels you great. You had a really interesting adventure yeah. last night. Well, I mean, it was fine, but it was like I'd kept like, in order to like, like because the, the car tram lines a lot because the, the front end's so wide. And so like, I'd be like, I'm like kind of going over to the yellow line and I have to turn like this far to get back over to center. And I'm just like back and forth driving like an old lady, like a school bus driver. Well, yeah, now I know why. All I did was tighten that up. Good, right as rain. 